Reactors. I'm Abrielle. I'm Maria. I'm Claudia. And I'm Sandy. Okay, so we're officially going to be going into the next album next time. This is an in-between solo song that mm -hmm. he released. So this is called Warm Up. Um, and it actually has like a, a video to it, so that's exciting. Yeah. I'm excited for y'all to hear it. Okay, let's go, because the last one was so nice. We I know, had right? like a little laugh in it. Anyways, okay, let's go. It's like the warm up to the next album. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. He said, Yeah, he already knew. Yeah. I'm the type to rent a hotel room just to feel at home. I'm the type to rent a hotel room just to be alone. I got an issue with people pretending they like what they don't. Please don't bring up my issues unless you're going to deal with your own. Please don't try to pretend like you keep it real, though. Yeah, it's funny that you got a lot of money, but that money doesn't buy you skills, though. I don't care if I am on the billboards, on the killing spree, I'm about to kill more. Got a chain on, you pay the mill for. I mean, what you people even live for? I'll write raps, you steal yours. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I said I was coming, I warned you. So close to the fans, I feel like they're riding my tour. But you want to know what I do in my downtime? They come to my fortress. I apologize for all the corpses. It's a mess right now, but I haven't had time to put the rappers in the carpet. Talking like six years while you writing me now. I just turned a hundred K down just to keep the brand looking right now. I ain't bragging about the money, I'm just saying I ain't controlled by the bank account or the bank amounts. I'm a businessman, but don't touch my money, I don't play around. Lights out when the mic's out, let it hit the West Coast, hype crowd. I just put a ring it out. What you think I'm about to pipe down now? I've been looking for a beat, look what I found. Woo. I mean, everything is coming out of my mouth. Try to tell me, yeah, I ain't hit the right sound. Oh, yeah, well, tell me what you think now. Two records in a bag. What's coming next year? Let me hear the drum roll. Don't blow. Anybody wanna be the one to make an issue out of nothing? I'ma hit you with my iPhone. I know. I'm a little out of hand now. I ain't looking for a handout. You ain't like what I was doing last year, which is funny because you're looking like a fan now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, which is probably is true. When he said to his teachers and be a rapper, they're probably looking at him like, Okay, get a real job. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're probably all crying Cause now. Because he doesn't fit the way people think. You know what I mean? Right? Like the mold. Yeah. Really what it is. But also, like, keeping it real, like, how many kids want to be that? Exactly. And don't amass to that. Right. Yeah. I feel so, like everyone, they're like, okay. Talent. Yeah. yeah. And hard work. I mean, he kept mm -hmm. at it. He didn't give up his dreams. But I also love how he mentions, and this is like one of the things that I think a lot of people who have money lack is integrity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. If you stay true to who you are and what you value and you don't move for that for a dollar sign, I feel like that is going to bring you mm -hmm. a whole lot more respect. And I think it, it gives him more of like an inner like peace with that because you're not selling yourself. Yeah. To the devil. You're, yeah. Like you're selling your product. You're right. selling what you're advocating for, but you're not selling like who you are for for a dollar. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, which is so true. easy to do in that industry too. Like, yeah. A lot of people yeah. do, and I feel like that makes you lose like so much respect. I like people who stand on their word, like their word means something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think that or he also they keeps are that. so I should. Yeah, and so I think he also keeps that in mind. Like his target audience is like our age groups, mm -hmm. and I'm spe I'm saying more so like the more younger ones too. Yeah. Their minds are so like. They're like sponges. Malleable. Yeah, they just like absorb whatever mm -hmm. they see and they don't see what's right and wrong. And I think he makes it really well and clear with what is right and what is wrong and that it is okay 
to mm-hmm. feel a certain way. Yeah. And, and he then puts he it out toes too. down. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And he puts it out too that like, you know, I'm still struggling. Like I like I say these stuff like this is what yeah. is right. This is what we're supposed to do. But I'm still struggling doing it myself. Like and mm-hmm. that's okay. Like he's very honest. Mm-hmm. I feel like real music. Yeah. You know, like yeah. he's being real. And I feel like that's why he connects with the fans so well. And you can obviously tell he loves the fans and he's doing it for the fans because he doesn't like taking pictures. He does I like feel, feel socially like has social almost anxiety on mm-hmm. stage, but he's mm-hmm. doing it for the fans and he will take those pictures. He will be on the stage. And I was at a concert one time when you could see like he was just getting overwhelmed and so he stopped and he had the fans start singing and the fans took over because like it was just he needed a moment to like mm-hmm. just process and like he's doing these things. Yeah. It's just you admire him because like he's you know, he's just like us. It's like, well, also when you get these messages, like, and it's overwhelming. Yeah. I don't know how it wouldn't be overwhelming to yeah. somebody to be in front of, like, some people may have the, just that natural born ability to be in front of all those people, but to me, that could be, like, really, really, really overwhelming. Oh, for, really like, stimulating. people, and, like, yeah, yeah. it's a lot. Sense. And it's a lot to, like, be being watched, like, your every yeah. move. Mm-hmm. Well, and he has to go people. through every emotion that he does the song. So mm-hmm. this might be, like, an emotion from, like, the past. Like, a past wound. But he has to sing about it still. He still has to rap about um, it. Yeah. Which so he's up bringing up those old emotions mm-hmm. every time he's on mm-hmm. stage. But he's doing it because it's helping other people. Yeah. Which I really admire. It, like, when him. you... when I'm sure he gets those messages. Your music has saved my life. And I think that's a huge compliment. I feel like that's why it does save people's lives. Because his emotions are real. And he's doing it from a real place. Exactly. So... Also, when you bring up those real emotions, those even if you are like past it to a certain point, it was still real in that moment, and I feel like you still feel what you were feeling yeah. in that moment because it was real to he you. He pulls the heartstrings right? every yeah. time. I yeah. know. I'm but, excited for y'all to get into the next album. Yes, I really like it. I'm excited too. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction. Do leave in the comments down below what you guys thought and if what we were saying was you know accurate enough or if you'd agree. Um, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Bye.